Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to the AB Podcast, where we are at Kunal Nair's house. Weirdly enough, you guys writers as well. Is this what yes. you guys do? Yes, yeah. pretty good. We are uh, popular for. We wrote this one film fair awards which Shah Rukh and Ranbir uh, hosted. Yeah, and that was the year I think Alec Baldwin and Steve Martin hosted the Oscars. That was, that was, that was about a year after. Yeah, a year after. I think the next yeah. year also someone really really cool must have hosted. And I remember. Uh, so we we and I, this happens to us a lot, which is we will go in with our like we're going to write. Like slightly evolved yeah. stuff. So we wrote we wrote an Indian version of there's a sketch called every Oscar movie ever, mm-hmm. and we wrote an Indian version of that. And we mm-hmm. went in and everybody loved the read and everything. And then the first words were it's too evolved. Let's dumb it down. Two hours into it, we now have Shakti Kapoor on the phone saying you will be playing a character in this sketch. Yeah. Also, you are actually Rakhi Sawant. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, yeah. we should make this up. At the end this of the is... sketch, Shakti Kapoor takes off his face mask and turns and he's out he's actually Rakhi Sawant. Okay, and then through the award, at one point they cross dress. And that was the year where, luckily, we didn't we didn't go all out and say we wrote it, wrote it this yeah. year. There was a meme that went on; it became the most popular meme in India. Shah Rukh and Ranbir in a sari, not even in saris. Hang on, they were in like item number clothes, don't you remember? Correct. And they were doing this thing around girls. the pole, which is juxtaposed to Steve Martin and Alec Baldwin in a suit, in their tuxes, in their tuxes, doing like this, like our award so show and their award, award show. show. That is our claim. That's to our claim. To hey, that's very Indian of you, young. That it is. It Indian is okay. because see, our sensibilities are very that way American in that sense. Like we've grown up watching the Oscars, we've grown up watching, yeah, this. so yeah, we yeah, always yeah. be like. Let's do an opening monologue. monologue. You know, let them come out and say suave things about the industry. And did it work? And then it did. It did. Except, like he said, two hours later, it came down to. So, guys, I think we should wear saris. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, best of luck working here, man. Kunal, yeah. it's gonna be fun. Yeah. Just uh, better have your sari body on. I listen. I look yeah. wonderful in the sari. I, I don't know what's wrong with you guys. I'm very excited. So, ten years now. Yeah. What? We're in the middle of our ninth season right now, yeah. and last year, next year is our last year on our contract. Correct. So right. we may do eleven and twelve. We may not. I don't know. That's up. You know, we'll see when we get close. Ooh, last year on contract. So next year is going to be all the headlines of like cast scene leaving, studio negotiations breakdown oh, between studio and cast. We've done all of that so many times and now. Yeah, now no one. You're right. I I think uh, that's just part of the industry. You know, like Forbes. dot com publishes the magazine of. You know, third highest paid actor and all that. I hate all that stuff because hey, it's yeah. Hey, we were we were on the list this yeah, time. It's we were, nice. Appreciate it. Yeah. Very nice. Yes, we yes, were yes, on. And how many list. of your cousins Six, did you for money after that? Oh man. Yeah. It was it like was, my mother didn't believe it. She was yeah. like, "I'm not seeing any of this money." <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Say, my so, mother was like, "Dude, I paid your life insurance premium for you this month. What?" Where is oh, this magic Forbes money? Of my yours? dad's reaction was the best. Like, if you guys are on this list, how fucking poor are <laughs> everybody else? What no, what this? was really depressing about the list is Rajnikanth is below us. <laughs> At which point, we kind of have to look back and be like, no, hang on, guys, something That's is amazing. wrong. That's he had an off year. He yeah, he, either he had an off year or he like took a year the, off, guys, or a sub editor yeah. somewhere needs <laughs> to be fired. <laughs> One of two things. Yeah. Talk about actors. What is it like? Uh, I think I think fans would love to know. Yeah. Uh, it's just stuff that they won't know. What happens on set? It's been nine years now. Yeah. Uh, how has it changed? What was the first day like? Uh, you know, just tell yeah. us. Just tell us. Just fun stories from from set. Um, you know, the cool thing about being on Big Bang is in in the beginning for me. You know, I just graduated from grad school. I got my masters. I just come back from RSC Royal Shakespeare Company. I was feeling very like you know actory. I really was. I mean, I'll tell you the story. Actually, Big Bang got picked up. Okay. But at that time, they didn't know what they wanted to do with my character. Right. I was. They wanted to make me kind of a recurring character. They didn't know what they wanted to do. So the show got picked up in May, and they can only hold you up till June thirtieth. June thirtieth, right. they have to give you the contract. Got up it. till June twenty ninth, I hadn't got a contract, and my visa was up. So if I was going to stay in America and do the role, I was going to get it you need and it, do yeah. Big Bang, or the other was I was going to come home come to back. India and do Bollywood. At that time, uh, Delhi Six. Delhi che. Mm-hmm. I had loved the script, and I was gonna come back to meet. Really, at that time, Rakesh I loved Prakash the Mera. script. Nice. Right. Rakesh Chopra Prakash Mehra. I loved that first initial version of the script. I read the English version of the script, and I loved it. So there was that opportunity at the. What were you supposed to play in Delhi Six? The the lead. The lead. Got the, it. But at that time, in a very early draft, the the producers and Rakesh Chopra Prakash Mehra was trying to do a version of that movie. That was not that may not have gone the route it went. Right. You know, at okay. that time, there was it. a very different film. But no, there was interest in that. I'm not sure right. that it would have happened anyway. They were just okay. looking at actors in America, hmm. and they had really liked my tape. 
you know and at that time i thought okay if this doesn't work out if big june 29th you know like june 30th i don't get the contract they've cut my character or something july 1st i'm back in india and I, then i was going to go meet rakesh and prakash mehra cuz he liked the tape i thought maybe that would be an opportunity funny enough i got on june 30th i got the contract for big bang that i'm going to be so i ended up staying and then my first year after big bang three idiots came about and they were looking to cast one of the idiots out of a like right. you know so i sent in an audition tape i flew to uh, to bombay to meet raj uh, yeah, raju so to meet raju hirani and we had a wonderful meal had a great time it just unfortunately didn't work out so the opportunities in my opinion were there that they could have come through if i had moved here and i had started early and i had worked my way to the mm-hmm. you know hard work i think it could have come through but then of course big bang came right. what it is so for me to move to india you know the risk is that if i move to india i have to start from the bottom again what's the schedule like let's do like every episode how does it work so it my season starts august right mid august i'll show up on a wednesday morning tuesday night the script gets delivered to the house i read the script uh we do a table read on that wednesday morning wednesday morning amongst the writers this producers this is every, yeah this is everyone the whole cast jim parsons everyone all of us so we do the table read and we have a great time and we laugh and stuff and then we do a light rehearsal and we right. go home it's a very nice day wednesday very light day we go home, we're only there for 3 hours 3 mm. hours uh thursday so wednesday night we get a script delivered to the house with all the changes thursday morning no read through anything it's just us only actors and the director on stage and the prop guys or whoever you know and we rehearse 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 in the afternoon we do a run through of the whole show right. for the writers mm-hmm. and by now you have the script memorized no not yet no got not it. at all got it no, so I mean, you, you know you've read it enough you know like the next things that are coming but it's not got like it. if you put the script down you Kaylee's probably the only person who could because she's i don't know a genius she reads it once she knows it right you never see her learning lines i am no under- understanding of how it happens and on tape night she's like off book like the scripts don't even get delivered to her house i don't know she's a magician she's incredible uh jim obviously because he has to learn a lot of the yes. jargon he has yeah. cue cards he, he's a theater trained actor so it really helped him but no you you kind of know what's happening but you don't you not you don't know it off book you know because it changes also no so then the Correct. writers will watch the run through on friday on thursday night you'll get a new script with all the changes friday morning same thing you rehearse friday afternoon you do a run through but this time even the warner brothers and cbs executives come to watch they come to watch every episode now not as much no, anymore not as much right. anymore, you know you have the executives come but it's not as much as it used to be obviously okay and then monday is a pre shoot day Monday is when the cameras come in. Right. Our stand-ins will block for lighting and everything. We come in and we pre-shoot scenes that are difficult to do in front of a live audience. Right. Got a it. scene inside a car or a Got scene it. where there's a lot of dialogue or there's a seven-page scene, you know. Got mm-hmm. it. So that in front of the live audience you're not sitting there and taking 3 4 5 6 7 takes. Right. Uh we do that on Monday. Tuesday we come in in the morning, we rehearse the show, we do a run through of the show for the writers if they mm-hmm. want to make any last tweaks, then we do makeup, dinner, 6:30 we shoot the show. and there's how, how long is it 250 people yeah about 250 and there's a warm up act and there's not a warm up act we have a warm up guy yeah he's a comedian he does like all chakalori shows his name is mark sweet he does magic and all that and and then we have a live audience and they obviously you know now like you can get the tickets on tvtickets.com mm-hmm. and they sold out this year in 7 seconds for the entire season yeah super nice so there but it's been fun these last few years because raj i feel like has really come into his own Uh, last 2 3 years he's been able to talk to women he's got a confidence he's kind of yeah, got a swag about yeah, him you know yeah, i think yeah. it's really fun because he's sort of really becoming that delhi boy that i really wanted him to become <laughs> it's a sentence that has never been said yeah before why are you guys hating on delhi history? boy so much yeah <laughs> because we flew in you've from bombay for a while you don't yeah, know what been, they've yeah. been up to yeah you won't hear oh, man yeah, you don't know wild west right they're shooting up <laughs> people yeah. and all that yeah like, Just you never know what's going to happen right in delhi never it's always a fun yeah, night in delhi yeah she gets it she's not a delhi boy <laughs> yeah <laughs> only because he was going away yeah exactly yeah. only because <laughs> only because he was going away it is hilarious on nehana in la and like we speak in the obviously so we will you know someone someone will come in wearing something janky or uh-huh. make fun of them so in hindi we always say stuff right we'll always make fun of them in hindi but then the problem is we forget so on the flight back from london to delhi we forget that everyone speaks hindi yeah yeah So it's like really annoying like woman who took off her socks on the plane which I don't know idea why people take socks off on the plane and she's like rubbing out her feet and, uh-huh. and you were like are bhans ke dekh bhans ke baith ke dekh or something like that and she was like excuse me I'm like madam 
I I was saying uh, your passport is an India passport. Like something <laughs> related. <laughs> Not related. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I do when I get caught. I just say something unrelated. Yes, sir. Butter mm. chicken. I like it. What's your take on? What, uh, yeah. what are your thoughts on <laughs> Donald Trump? <laughs> what are your thoughts on Donald Trump? <laughs> The roast How is now uh, pirated and you can buy it at Palika Bazaar. Yeah. It's a moment of pride. Like 100 bucks. rupee CDs. I'm going to go to Palika right after this. I'm going to yeah, buy 5,000 copies. Do it. Please oh, do but it. But you don't see any money from it. It's pirated. Okay, no, yeah. Was it a thing you saw there? Yeah, on YouTube. It was number three video in America for three days. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's it's what we were doing. Yeah. 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 yeah, we watched it. We watched it. And I, and I heard about the fallout from it and I feel bad. For you guys, that you deal with it. No, don't don't feel bad at no. all. I mean, it was the, like, it's part of the reason we're sitting in your living room chatting with you. Yeah, true. A strange way. So I'm not true. kidding. Uh, but this will be the most boring. I have not said anything controversial. I'm so. Well it's not, it's not meant to be controversial. Yeah. Not at all. No. But our rates skyrocketed three times right after. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. So I can't afford you guys. No. No. Okay. I'm sorry. Can't. I mean, you'd have to be the second highest, highest paid actor, paid actor. To <laughs> yeah. afford us. Yeah, yeah. Just, I'll go home close. and I'll, I'll off Johnny Galecki and then I'll... Yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> What's he? He, yeah. knows. he knows. He knows the list. He knows. He's he knows a, and Chuck Lord is going, not again. <laughs> Why is this happening to me? <laughs> All the time. For the record, he's a great guy, Chuck Lorre. Wonderful, wonderful human being. And obviously, like some sort of endless reservoir of talent to have had two... <laughs> 10 yeah. season hit yeah. shows where does What's it come from What's incredible about him is he's a very good joke writer obviously mm-hmm. but he knows how to run a TV show uh, Right you it being a writer a good writer and being a good showrunner are two different things Completely different skills Because sir. you have to being a showrunner you have to understand the scripts you have to understand how to manage the studio that is telling you you can't write those scripts mm-hmm. and you have to manage like standards and practices and budgets and everything he has to look at everything you know what I mean so it's not just you're writing the show you're also dealing with the day to day yeah, we, we just we did a show. We just ran our own show. Standards and practices. Standards and practices is fun. So, so we just did yeah. a show. We just did a. Uh, it's our version of like what John Stewart would do. Uh, oh, cool! Like yeah. the Daily Show. Like, like, the Daily show, like yeah. kind of like the Daily Show and John Oliver's show. So cool, it's yeah. called On Air with AIB, where we take on issues and we do deep dives, where we try to explain stuff using. Yeah, comedy. Do it, do it through comedy. It's something that's existed in America for the longest time. We didn't have, we never had that in India. So the idea was, no. how can we do political Imagine. content on TV? How yeah. can we do this? How can we do that? So, and do it properly in India. You don't have any movie stars calling you and abusing you or that didn't work? Not this time. Well, not no, this time. Not this time. Not, not this time. Very specifically not oh, this time. Oh, you know the story. That's yeah. interesting. Uh, I have my eyes and ears everywhere. <laughs> Clearly. Mainly from TMZ. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just joking. So, you did, so you, so you done this show. That's great. With this show. And the reason so, why I was bringing it up, because our standards and practices email that comes in to us specifically every, every week, every week is, is the most fun. So, it's the highlight of like, the week. Uh, can can you remove the bestiality I've reference? I've got it right here. Yeah. Oh, wow. I've got it right here. Because everyone like know, look, everyone likes a good bestiality. Exactly. Yeah. Right? You yeah. try telling standards and practices that. <laughs> yeah. Like it's always stuff like, remove the line, no blow job, no blow job. <laughs> 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 remove the jokes pertaining to bestiality. Then my personal favorite, um, twelve oh seven. Remove behenjo. <laughs> then the next two, my personal favorite, ditto, <laughs> ditto. <laughs> <laughs> then the next one, Gandmari, please remove. <laughs> <laughs> so then good. just fucking. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. <laughs> <Just> fucking. <laughs> <laughs> remove the extended joke referring to porn sites like Bang Bus and Mom's Hot Friend. <coughs> Behen Chod. Wait, how do I spell that? Let me just write that down. <laughs> Chutia. <laughs> Wait, these are just one word emails of things. At this this. point, they've just got it down to this is one word emails. Like my poster said after Behen showed, the guy was like, this is beneath my dignity to even write this word. (laughs) So he said ditto ditto and ditto. ditto. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you for having me. Thanks.